Never before have we had so many food choices. But now almost two-thirds of Australian adults are obese or overweight, and so are one in four children. We're also more stressed, sleeping less, and spending hours in front of screens. Sleep um, deprivation produces a rise in the stress hormone cortisol. Cortisol helps you cope with the sleep deprivation, but it also makes you hungry. Add in food fads on what to eat and what to avoid, it's no wonder we're confused. But nutrition scientist Professor Jenny Brand Miller has some advice. She's known for her research on the glycemic index, which measures the way we absorb carbohydrates. Many carbohydrates are good for you and you should go for them. You just need to be choosy. After years of low-fat diets being popular, it was a controversial idea. Slow carbs are the low glycemic index carbs that are digested and absorbed slowly that make you feel satisfied and full after you've eaten. She also helped bust the myth behind the low-fat food fad. Those low-fat foods included foods that have a high glycemic index and they stimulate appetite. So you feel hungry because your blood glucose has gone zoom and then zoom right down. So here are some tips to eat more healthfully. Sugar in moderation is okay. Use it wisely to encourage the, the consumption of otherwise bland foods. Nutritious foods like porridge or rolled oats with honey or sugar are okay. Good fats are in. No fat is out and back is good fat. Good fat in large amounts. Good fats include olive oil, canola oil, rice bran oil, avocados and nuts. Low GI carbohydrates are also okay. Low GI carbohydrates include Charisma potatoes, Sunrise Clever, pasta and beans. But beware of depriving yourself. It could be a recipe for disaster. If you ate things that you really don't enjoy, you probably find yourself eating sooner and eating more calories than you would normally have. Join the conversation in the comments below and subscribe to our YouTube channel.